Hello. My name is Lauren Lutz. I'm the Communications and Marketing Supervisor for the New Lenox Community Park District. We're going to tell you about all of the great programs and some of the fun things that are going on at our park district this summer. First of all, I'd like to introduce Bob Schultz, our Director of Golf at the Sanctuary Golf Course. Bob, what are some of the things your golfers have to look forward to this summer? Um, well, one of the things that um, we try to provide at the Sanctuary is opportunities for junior golfers. As uh, our president of our board, Brian Fisher, stated in his letter that went on the Park District book, we have a huge junior golf league here. Last year we had over 400 um, children in it. Um, sign up um, starts now, as soon as you see this video. It started actually March 1st. We don't close it. The first day is June 7th. We're aware that most of the schools are still in school on June 7th for an hour, but the junior league's still going to go. If you can't get here June 7th, you can sign up anytime you want. It's $20 to sign up. We have, um, and that's $10 to play golf. And we offer a $3 lunch special, and that's every Tuesday basically through the summer. Um, the only Tuesday we do not offer that is um, July 5th, um, the day after the 4th, because we host the State Am qualifying and the U.S. Kids. If you have any kids that are looking to play in the U.S. Kids, you can go to the U.S. Kids website to see that, or there's a link on our website. M among other things we offer, um, on Sundays after 4 o'clock, we offer one paid adult, one child free. So you have, if you, obviously if you have two adults, you can bring two kids for free. Um, that's after 4 p.m. on Sundays. We also offer after 6 o'clock, seven days a week in June, July, and August, $10 to walk based on availability. And that's for anybody. Show up at 6 o'clock, give us $10, you go out and play the golf course and walk. Once again, the sanctuary is providing brand new range balls this year for our driving range. We did not raise our range rates at all. It's $4 per token. Um, and you get about 30 golf balls for that. <clears throat> on our website, you can see we have a huge array of junior lessons, adult lessons, adult clinics, um, private lessons. That's all under our website. Just look under golf lessons or junior golf lessons. Um, we do have our pro-am coming back this year once again. It's uh, July 13th. Um, sign up for that has begun. It's 160 per player. Each player receives a Callaway GPS U-Pro as their tee gift. Plus it's um, a lunch, a deli lunch, a pig roast afterwards. You play golf with a professional five-player scramble. You can call the golf course for more information on that. Um, a lot of people know about this, and it's not really a summer event. It is our Golf and Fish. Last year, it's it sold out in less than, I think it was nine minutes. Um, that registration starts the day after Labor Day at 6 a.m. Uh, it is, once again, the, on the last Sunday of September. A lot of people call us and ask about that. Uh, registration starts at 6 a.m. the day after Labor Day. If you want to get in this event, we suggest you come to the golf course and fill it out. It does fill up very fast. Our Chili Open will return, that is in November. We're also starting a new thing this year in October, it's our Ryder Cup. Um, it's basically, we're gonna have 24 players per side. Anybody can play in it that has a handicap. That's a new event we're gonna have, and that is a weekend in October. Um, the New Lenox Chambers having their golf outing once again. The Mokina Chambers once again having their golf outing out here, um, among other local outings. You know, those are privately outings using our facility. You have to go to their websites to find out information for that. Um, other than that, daily play, you know, the resident rates have not been raised since I've been here in six years. It's still $45 on a weekend with, for a resident to ride. Um, that's 18 holes and I, uh, 38 during the week. Um, our senior rate is still $27 with the cart Monday through Friday. And we brought back once again this year $27 to ride on Wednesday for anybody, whether you're a senior or not. Um, so my suggestion, if you do want to play on Wednesdays, book way in advance. We take tee time seven days in advance because the golf course gets very busy, obviously, on Wednesdays. Um, Tuesdays we are closed uh, in the summer for our junior league and then we have a ladies league in the evening. We also have two ladies leagues on Thursdays. Um, you can go to our website to see that. We don't run those leagues. They use our facility for those. Um, but if you want to join those, you can. There's a Friday night couples league also. Once again, we don't run that, but it's on our website for information on that. And then we have our Monday Night Men's League, which we do run. Uh, that has started already, but you can still sign up for it. We have 180 players in that. We close the golf course at 1130 um, and we basically give the golf course to the men's men's league until dark that night um, at $65 to join that league. Then you play golf for $25 with a cart for as many as you can play till dark. Um, wow. Other than that, and it, all it's the a players lot of, can still book their tee times 24 hours a day on the website, correct? Yeah, we're still with Easy Links. Easy Links is a uh, through our website, but we also you can call and talk to somebody in person. Um, Easy Links is a is an outsourced, um, for lack of a better term, reservation. Um, call center. They handle over a thousand golf courses in the country. We're one of them. You just call our uh, golf course 815-462-4653. Press number three to book a tee time. 24 hours a day you can do that or you can go to our website. And one thing we have different this year, um, we have certain website only specials. If you go to our website and you book it online, you'll notice there'll be um, it's kind of a typical reservation system for golf courses. But you'll see save 25%, save 18%. All the 
fees that are on our website are quoted with cart, okay? So if you see it, you know, we posted one the other night for $15, and uh, Forsum took advantage of it at 5 o'clock, so they rolled for basically a cart fee. So check that. We're always updating those. Um, obviously, if, it's, if the golf course is really booked, that special won't be available. But check our website before you book a tee time, or even call us and see if any of those special, specials are available. And, of course, since I've been here, we've always given out free coffee, free coffee seven days a week. Um, you know, it's it's just a service we do. Right, and I know a lot of the players have talked about what a great how great condition the course is in general. Can you talk about that a little bit? Yeah, the golf course is in, in is in great shape. We we maintain it the best we can um, according to weather, and I'll put our condition of our golf course up against anybody's um, in the area. It, it Maybe even some private clubs. Um, there's been a trend right now in golf. Um, some of the private clubs are, are suffering a little bit. People are. I mean, the bottom line, they, they it, the economy is what it is. Um, so we're getting a lot more people coming out to play our club than you know we're members at private clubs and the condition we hear compared to some of the private clubs they were members at you know it, it compares right up to them um, and that being said with the economy end of it um, that's why we have that $27 Wednesday we haven't raised the resident rate in the six years I've been here right. um, it, it's just something we offer and this year we, we do have new pull carts unfortunately we had a purchase pull cart so we are charging for them now um, it's three dollars for nine holes five for 18 but everybody has loved them so far they're brand new they have a drink holder so um, you know, I, I, free pull carts are gone, but those were so bad, that's why I didn't charge for them. So we got 36, <laughs> a new fleet of them, and they will be available also on Junior League. And Junior League Day, they'll be $3. But our, our main focus this year is our Junior League once again on Tuesdays. We close the golf course from 6 a.m. to 4 p.m. this year. We extend it an hour. And uh, if you're under 15 years old, sign up for it for $20, get out and play. And, and it's a great way for, for kids to get out, enjoy golf, enjoy what another park district function that we offer, another facility. Um, some facilities don't do the same thing we do with right. juniors. I'm just glad that we have a board that lets me close the golf course for the juniors on a Tuesday to give it to them and play golf. And that's something that, that is the future of the game. Right. Yeah, and so. is there anything, lastly, you would like to talk about the golf course? or? Get out and play some golf. Okay. I mean, you'd like to see us. Stop in and say hi to us. We're here all the time. Uh, we're Absolutely. What is the web week. And what is the website again, Bob? GolfSanctuary.com. Or you can find us on Facebook, the Sanctuary Golf Course. Become a friend of us. We also offer Facebook deals too. I know we're in a little competition with the Park District, Park District <laughs> Facebook thing, and you have a lot more than we do, but uh, we do offer that. And one of the things that we um, did this year, and it's already happened, was our ID Amateur. It's a new amateur tournament we started. Um, we had 116 people sign up for it. Uh, Kyle English won it this year from Bloomington, Illinois, um, in a three-hole playoff. It was a very successful event for us this year. It happened to be on one of the worst weekends for golf in the rain and, and, and sleep. Um, it was the weekend of 14th the 15th of May, the weekend after Mother's Day. So that will be a staple here now. We ran our men's club championship within that event. So um, I know a lot of you have seen the scores posted around the club and asked about it. Um, it's a great event to get into. Uh, if you have a handicap, you compete in our club championship, but it, it's more of a scratch event, kind of like the Will County Am or the Juliet Am. So that was a great successful event we've had. All right, well, great, Bob. Thank you so much Thanks for your for time. Having me. If you need anything else, let me know. And All right. We'll see you out there. All right, take care. Hello, it's my pleasure to introduce. Jason Braglia. He's our athletic coordinator for the New Lenox Park District. One of Jason's responsibilities um, is he's in charge of our day camp program. Jason, would you like to tell us about some of the fun things that's going on at day camp this year? Yes, um, we have our day camp program. We go on field trips every Friday. We have water parks this year. We're going somewhere new. We're going to the Pelican Harbor in Bolingbrook. Usually we've gone to Splash Station in the past, but this year we thought it would be an extra treat to go to this new place that we're going to. Um, we have returning field trips. We have the Enchanted Castle, the Haunted Trails that the kids really enjoy. We also have some new field trips. We're going to Brunswick Zone, which is in Naperville. It's kind of like a bowling alley slash arcade place, so the kids will really enjoy that one. Also, we're going to a planetarium and different things like that. We also have our end of the year final field trip. We go to the Children's Museum and Navy Pier. They always enjoy that. Um, what are some of the other activities that the campers take part in during the week when you're not going on your Friday field trips? Day camp is held at Haynes Park. We have, it's a huge park. It's a, I want to say it's about 14 acres of park. We have woods in there. They have frisbee golf. There's a playground. We play sand volleyball. We have different contests throughout the week for sidewalk chalk and sand art, con or sand castle contests. We have different games they play, different activities. Kickball is one of the favorites. Everyone loves kickball. We do different arts and crafts. Each week is a theme. And so we do theme, we do crafts based on the themes of the week. 
for that. Do you know what some of your themes are going to be this year? Yes, we have the Luau theme. We have a Fiesta theme where at the, um, we do a barbecue at camp, and we're doing walking tacos, and we also have pinatas and different um, Fiesta games. We have limbo contests and things like that. What are some of the other camps that you're you're in charge of or whatever that you off, we offer our residents? I'm also in charge of the Camp Sunshine. It's for four and five year olds. That camp is held at Cherry Hill uh, Park. Um, that is either ran on Mondays and Wednesdays or Tuesdays and Thursdays, or you can do both. Um, during that time, we also we have a water day and we go on a field trip for that as well. Oh, great. What are the registration options that parents have when they're joining up for our day camps? Do they have to purchase the whole summer? Do, you, do we offer daily rates? or Can you talk about that a little bit? For our day camp, we offer daily, weekly, and entire summer rates. If they sign up for the entire summer, it is a cheaper rate per week, um, but they can also do per day. The Monday through Thursday is $35 a day, and on the Fridays, which are our field trips day, are $45 a day. Um, but if they sign up for the entire summer, I believe those rates go down dramatically, which is great in this economic time. What are the ages for your day camp? Our day camp ages are 6 to 12 year, old, 12 year olds, um, and that program also runs from 9 a.m. to 2.30 p.m., and our camp center runs from 9.30 a.m. to 12.30 p.m. All right, is there anything else or especially you'd like to highlight for our camp programs that residents will be offered this summer? Um, our kids really enjoy our day camp at Camp Sunshine. Our numbers are always jumping every year, and we have returning kids who have been there since they were four, year, four years old. So they're really going to enjoy the summer. Um, we have a new leader out there. I'm not going to be out there. This is going to be my first time since 1999, <laughs> and I'm not going to be out there. But uh, Jenny Bendy will be in charge of our day camp, and she's been there for at least 10 years. And um, Kaylee Milner and Rose Davis will be our Camp Sunshine Counselor or leaders. They're going to be great out there as well. Terrific. Well, thank you so much for your time. No and, and how do people register for day camp? Oh, they can register at the um, Lions Community Center at the registration desk. There's a separate form they'll have to fill out, um, and that's available there. Also, it's available on our website, which is www.newlinuxparks.org, under the day camp um, at the top screen, and they can print it out right from there. All right. Terrific. Thank you, Jason, so much. No problem. Leah Paparis, Recreation Supervisor for the New Lenox Park District. Leah's in charge of the great summer events and special events that we have going on. Leah, what are some of the events that our residents can expect this summer? Uh, we are actually trying this year a picnic um, in the evening for families to come out um, to enjoy a dinner and we'll have a game, games and jumpies and all kinds of fun for the community. Oh great. Um, what about uh, any bus trips you'd like to talk about? Uh, we do have a lot of bus trips this summer. Most of them are already filled but we do have Cape Cape Cod, which we're still looking for a couple people. Um, all of our information and uh, for special events and bus trips are you can go to our website or you can view our summer brochure. Well, I also understand that you also oversee the great activities that we have going on at a Hibernia Park this year. Would you like to highlight some of those? Yes, uh, Hibernia Park is uh, this is our third year running. We have a concession stand out there. Uh, you are able to rent paddle boats and row boats. And then new this year is we were able to fence off the splash pad so you can ha um, have your own private splash party. And if uh, you want to do that for your children, you can call, again, the Recreation Department and ask for Leah. That's great, Leah. Are there any other things you'd like to highlight that's going on at the Park District this summer? Well, we do have Pride American Days for the community. That will be held July 28th through the 31st. A um, couple of the highlights, we have our traditional baby contest. We have our Pride, uh, Pride American Days fun run. Um, we also have the family extravaganza. Um, that will be a couple hours of just good old family fun coming out and doing a variety of different games and activities. How do people find out about the many activities that are going on at the Proud American Days Festival this year? Well, you can go to our website, which is www.newlinuxparks.org, and you can go, there will be a Proud American Days link. Um, also, I just want to highlight that uh, we do have online registration, and um, you can stop in the community center registration desk with all your information and we can get you online account. All right, all right terrific. Thank you so much, Leah. Okay, thank you. To further talk about some of the great summer activities we have for our residents, I'm here with Jean Petra, our Recreation Coordinator. Jean is in charge of one of our great programs called the Summer Adventure Squad. 
Jean, would you like to tell us about it? Summer Adventure Squad is a program that we have for kids ages 6 through 12. Um, in our hours are 6.30 to 6.30, and it's really for working parents to have somewhere safe and fun for their kids to go during summer. And what are some of the activities that the children participate in? We do field trips every day. We go to Lincoln Way um, Field House. We go to a lot of different pools. Um, one of our most popular programs is on Tuesdays. We take the train downtown and go to different things downtown Chicago. And how do, can people register for the entire summer? Do you, can they register for a day, a week, or what's the registration guidelines? Well, what's so great about our program is that we're very flexible. Um, you could register for one day, you could register for all five days. You could come every um, week or you could take off weeks. There is no um, thing that you don't pay if you're not there. So that's what's really good about our program. Um, you do have to register the week before so that we have it proper, pro properly staffed and we have um, the field trips booked. And what about um, our meals provided for the children? We do provide breakfast and afternoon snack. The children do have to bring their lunch unless otherwise noted. What we do put, if um, there are some days that we go to places like CeCe's Pizza or Pizza Hut that they don't need to bring their lunch and we do let them know. All right. Well, terrific. Uh, you also are in charge of uh, a camp for younger campers. Can you talk about that? Sure. We have um, a camp called Camp Rainbow, and Camp Rainbow is for ages three, and it's right in our main building at the Lions Community Center, and it's on Mondays and Wednesday mornings. Terrific. Well, um, once again, if anyone's interested in registering for Summer Adventure Squad or uh, Camp Rainbow, just visit our website again, newlenoxparks.org, and there'll be registration forms and all the information you need. Thanks, Jean, so much. Thanks, Lauren. Another one of the popular areas at our park district are the many athletic camps that we hold throughout the summer. Joining me now is Olga Viano. She's our athletic supervisor. Olga, can you tell me some of the sport camps that we have happening this summer? Sure. We have three pretty popular um, athletic camps for the kids. We have a British Challenger soccer camp, and we have a All-American Basketball Academy basketball camp, and there is also a Chicago White Sox training camp. I do know that some of the camps, they don't register at our park district, they actually register with the organization hosting them. Which of the camps do they register directly at the associations? Uh, the All-American Basketball Camp is registered through um, us, the Park District, and then the British Challenger Soccer, as well as the Chicago White Sox camps are registered through their website. And I do know that we have a brand new New Lenox Pride basketball camp. Can you tell us about that? Yes, we do. That, um, that is a one-day camp. It will be held at Lincoln Way West, and it is it will be taught by the Lincoln Way, or New Lenox Pride basketball coaches. Oh, for it's, off, it's offered for boys and girls. Great. I also know that we have some brand new nighttime activities or whatever. Can you tell me about the bags tournament? Yes, we are having um, adult open bags, brats, and beverages, which will be held at the Lions Den. And we also are having weekly bags tournaments. Fabulous. If they want to know more information about any of the athletic programs, they just visit our website, correct? Correct. Is there anything special you'd like to highlight in the athletic department that's going on this summer? Um, well, new, actually new for, you can start registering this summer, but new for the fall, we're going to try a co-ed 16-inch softball league. Fabulous. So there'll be information about that new league in the fall upcoming fall catalog. It's actually in the summer book. Oh, great. Thank you. Well, yeah. Olga, thank you very much for your help. I appreciate You're very it. You're welcome. With over 300 special summer programs for our residents this year, one of the great areas that we've been able to improve on is our teen programs. With me here right now is Kathy Claver, our teen and senior coordinator. Kathy, tell us about some of the fun things teens have in store for this summer. This summer we have a variety of Friday road trips. We will be going to Willis Tower, the beach, uh, canoeing on the Fox River, um, Lincoln Park Zoo in the beach, and then 
a trip to the Indiana Dune State Park. Great. And um, what are some of the other teen activities that are new this year for the summer? We have a co-ed um, teen sand volleyball tournament in June. We have a new event, it's our Adrenaline Rush. It's going to be a fabulous obstacle course for the teens, um, ages 10 to 17, August 13th. Um, and then we have a co-ed uh, teen softball tournament in September. Fabulous. And if they're interested, if teens are interested in getting more information on it, do they, they just visit our website? Our website or Facebook. We have updates on Facebook and our book. All right. Thank you so much for the information, Kathy. Well, teens, come on out and visit our website and find out more about all the great programs we're going to have for you this summer. the popular areas that the Park District is so pleased to offer is our wonderful dance pro program called Galaxy Dancers. Here with me now is Sue Kuzmuk, our Recreation Supervisor. Sue, what are some of the dance programs we're going to offer this summer? Um, we offer dance for ages three and a half through eight. On Tuesdays, we offer ballet and tap. And we currently opened up a new class from 11.30 to 12 to handle all the people on the waiting list. Great. And we also do offer some tumbling classes as well. We do. We offer um, a tumbling class for ages 4 to 6, and that's on Tuesdays as well. And then we offer a power tumbling class for ages 7 through 10 for the more advanced tumbler. Terrific. So all you cheerleaders, tumblers, and future ballet artists out there, please come to the Park District. We've got something just for you. Another area of responsibility that Kathy Claver has is our active adult programs. Kathy, I do know that a lot of the programs are take place at the New Lenox Township Building. Can you explain to me some of the programs that take place there? Yes, we have a new program, We Bowling, Board Games, and Lunch. It's the third Wednesday of the month, which will be held in June, July, and August. Um, and if there's a meal, uh, Meals on Wheels lunch provided afterward, but I need a one-week notice of staying for lunch. We have an adult senior exercise group that meets on Monday and Fridays from 10 to 11. Mondays we have an instructor and on Fridays they listen to an audio cassette tape. And we have quilting clubs. Uh, we have a Wednesday quilt club that meets the first Wednesday of every month. And we have a quilt club that meets the third Friday of every month. And I do know that we have some new programs that are actually going to take place out in our parks. Can you talk about those programs? Right. We have uh, pedal pushers for 55 and over. We're going to ride the Old Plank Trail. We'll meet on Mondays um, during the summer from 6 to 7. Meet at the Lion's Den Pavilion. And then we have uh, bocce ball, drop-in bocce ball at Crystal Springs Park on Thursdays starting at 5.30. Kathy, I know that you provide a mailing three times a year to our seniors so that they're aware of all the great programs we have going. How does that work and how do, how do people sign up to receive it? Yes, I have a database going, so if you'd like to be on it, we have three mailings a year. Uh, just call the Park District or um, email me if you have email, and I will put you on the list and you'll get your mailings. Fabulous. Thank you, Kathy. Thank well, you. seniors, active adults, we have something for you as well, so please come out to the Park District. Park District, we want all of our great residents to stay healthy and happy during the summer, so we offer a wide variety of fitness classes. Sue, can you tell me about some of the fitness options that we have? Well, we run morning fitness from 8.30 to 9.30, three mornings a week. Um, there's a variety of different programs that you could register for. And then we offer um, nighttime fitness programs both at Lincoln Way West as well as the community center. And in order for our youth to stay active and fit, we also offer programs that's for their age group as well. Can you tell me about it? Right. All of our fitness programs are for anybody the ages 12 and over, but anybody that is 16 and under needs to be registered along with a parent. Terrific. Thank you so much for the fitness information. So New Lenox, stay healthy, stay active, join our fitness classes.
With the summer months upon us, we want to remind all of our residents about our Stop Trash in Our Parks program. If you witness vandalism or suspicious activity in any of our parks, please contact the police and contact the park district as soon as possible. Remember, it's up to all of us to keep our parks safe and sound. We appreciate your help and assistance. is the Park District offering a lot of great programs this summer, but we've also put into place some things that really improve our customer service. My next guest is Jackie Tuma. She's our executive assistant. And Jackie, how does the online registration system work? Sure, Lauren. You can either download a registration form from our website. It's called the WebTrack Master Form, or we do have those forms in our office at the community center. You do need to bring in proper documentation. Uh, we do have two categories. The first category is category one, which is either your most recent tax bill or your most recent uh, mortgage or bank statement. And then from category two, we do need two of the following items, a utility bill, which is your water, electric, uh, Comcast, or a credit card statement, or your driver's license, um, your state ID, voter's card, registration And those cards. are used just to document that they're definitely residents and in our park right, district. Correct. correct. And also, I know that we have the they also have the opportunity, they don't necessarily have to bring them in. We give them the opportunity they can fax their information in as well, correct? Correct. If they're comfortable with faxing it in, they can fax their information in, drop it in our secure drop box, or they can mail in the documentation. And um, I do know that not all the programs um, have online registration available, but most of them do, correct? Most of our programs do. Um, I know before it used to be like an explanation point in the book that indicated that you couldn't register for them. Um, anything that has like multiple days that you could register for, you can't register for online just because of our fee structure. Um, we do ask you that you come in or you can mail it in, drop it off, or fax in the registry. That's what I was going to ask you next. Yeah. How can people register for the programs? I know we offer quite a few different ways to do that. Well, one way is faxing it in with a credit card number. Make sure you sign the bottom and sign where you give us authorization to process your credit card. Um, if you don't feel comfortable with faxing your credit card information, you can always sign that authorization form and then make sure we call you and we can verify your credit card information over the phone. Um, or you can mail it in with the check uh, or you can drop it off. Terrific. Well, or um, walk in. Absolutely. And what, speaking of walk-in registrations, what are the hours of our park district? Sure. We're open Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, 9 to 4.30 and Tuesday, 9 to 5. Great. Terrific. Well, Jackie, thank you so much for the sure. information. Thanks, Lauren. Joining me now is a long-standing employee with the New Lenox Park District. George Travnicek is our Superintendent of Parks and Maintenance. George, with the large number of park sites that we have, what, does you, what do you and your staff do to ensure that our parks are so inviting and a great place for our residents to go? Well, there's 34 park sites, over 350 acres, and you need great staff and that we have here at the Park District. Uh, all of our staff um, put their efforts forth to have the parks clean, neat, safe, um, and it's an all-in attitude for that. Great, and I do know that we also, sometimes some of our volunteers come to the Park District and they help out as well. Can you talk about some of the volunteer work that we've had done at our parks? Yes, and throughout the years we've had the Cub Scouts, Boy Scouts, Girl Scouts, they'll come in and plant flowers. We've had church groups, New Life Church, Harvest Bible Church, they'll come in and spread mulch, plant seedlings. Um, also, we have the homeowners that will come in, um, Cherry Hill. Uh, they'll actually raise some money that can put in a park bench or a bike rack, but they'll also work on planting beds in the springtime as well. So that's a huge help. So if there are other groups out there, George, that would like to be involved in perhaps volunteering at one of our parks, how do they get a hold of you? Normally they call the main office and from there that it filters on. George, what is it about our parks that makes them so inviting to our residents? Well, we actually offer something for everyone. There's over 30 challenging playgrounds. There's over 50 sports fields, baseball, softball, soccer, football. Uh, there's 18 uh, basketball courts and sand volleyball courts. Uh, there's areas to picnic, um, areas to fish. Uh, we also have trails. Fabulous. Uh, one of the other new things that some of our residents may not know is that we have quite a few areas that you can go fishing at. Can you tell us about some of the fishing spots that we have? 
Okay, there's uh, several uh, parks that just come into mind. You have Hibernia, which is an eight and a half acre lake. Uh, we, we have a boat dock, we also have a fishing dock. There's Walker Pond, there's Crystal Springs, there's Freedom, there's uh, two ponds over at Nelson Campus, and then you have three over at Palmer. Great. Well, ladies and gentlemen, there's a ton of parks out there. We've got fishing for you. If you're interested in finding out exactly where all our parks are located, visit our website, and we have an entire listing of our parks and the amenities that they provide. Thank you, George, so much for joining us today. Thank you. Thank you for joining us and hearing all about the great summer programs our park district has to offer. Please remember to come out and visit a park, join a program, and remember, the benefits of play are endless.